I'm Gary Walker, and with me today is the artistic director of an organization called the Westchester Jazz Orchestra. I have your attention? Good. Welcome, Mike Holliber. Tell us, what is the Westchester Jazz Orchestra? Westchester Jazz Orchestra is a fantastic not-for-profit, 16-member uh, jazz orchestra, all world-class players, alum, and present members of all the greatest big bands and small groups in the jazz scene since the 60s to now. And uh, we're in our seventh season, and our final season concert on April 10th is entitled Americana. It's at Irvington, Irvington, New York, in the Town Hall Theater, and the info is at the website, which is westjazzorc, O-R-C-H, dot org. Seven years with virtually the same band members that that entire period right that that kind of brings something special to the organization that translates on to the audience doesn't it yeah the, the level the band is playing at it's really one of the great bands in the world now no no band better just different different solo voices and the solo voices in wjo are fantastic the recording all in brought the organization to national attention yeah. with the music that mm -hmm. was on on this disc inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was on the uh, jazz charts for 13 weeks, and it peaked at number four, and it was number 50 for the year. We're having a discussion about the Westchester Jazz Orchestra and about uh, the, the, the program that is coming up on April the 10th. And <clears throat> it's part of an overall program called Americana. That's going to be right. the, the focus of the evening. Talk about that a little bit. It always seemed to me like themes from American songs, field songs, and of course the, the blues made great material for writing uh, jazz orchestra music around. This concert, we've got a commission through New York, with the help of New York State Council on the Arts, an individual artist grant for this original piece, Flow, which in keeping with the Americana theme is, the full title is Flow in Celebration of the Hudson River. I wrote this at the McDowell Colony, which is an artist retreat, Peterborough, New Hampshire, and a wonderful place to work with an over 100 year tradition now. Uh, Copeland worked on Appalachian Spring there, and Bernstein his mass, and um, Thornton Wilder wrote, Wilder wrote Our Town there, and uh, so the spirits are strong. Your background as a composer really informs what you do. Yeah, also as a performer, my training was classical. My master's of music is in classical piano, but I've uh, got into jazz full-time immediately after that, and uh, so I have different um, melodic languages, historical perspectives, you know, ranging from like Renaissance music, blues, rock, grew up in 70s rock, and that, there's a lot of that apparent in flow, and then um, classic jazz recordings. And then the piece entitled Flow. It's for three locations along the Hudson River. Tier of the Clouds, Lake Tier of the Clouds, which is on the slopes of Mount Marcy, and Opalescence, which is for the Opalescent River, which also f uh, flows through the Adirondacks, and uh, finally, skipping a lot of geographical ground, uh, <laughs> Harlem. But as you describe these, you describe them as, as much more than, than, a, than a musical creative force. All of these places mean something special to you. I've, well, I'm an avid hiker and paddler, and I've been at all these locations. Spent a lot of time in the mountains in the Adirondacks, uh, near Lake Tier of the Clouds, walking along the Opalescent. I've rafted the Hudson Gorge a couple of times. Now, the focus of the Westchester Jazz Orchestra has been Gershwin and Cole Porter, the Beatles, yes. Motown, uh, Brazilian music, yeah. Portuguese, I've been all kinds of, of different arenas you have jumped into. And at the end of the night, the audience has really understood and felt the passion. In this case, the same thing. Flow, April the 10th, uh, a celebration of the, of the Hudson River. And like Duke Ellington, who, who many times as he composed, uh, would compose with specific players in mind, you have to, I would assume, mm -hmm. do the same thing with the WJO. I always do that. With any band that I'm ever writing from, with WJO, it's an incredible pleasure because the the personalities, the musical personalities to choose from are very varied and all great. This, this piece I wrote around uh, Jay Branford, alto saxophone player who has a fantastic sound and a great blues feel. He's, I wrote Harlem around him 
And uh, Tear of the Clouds is written around Jason Rigby, tenor saxophone player. Mm -hmm. And Opalescence is written around the wonderful trumpet player Marvin Stamm. Marvin Stamm is the kind of individual that gives the rest of us something to shoot for. Because last summer, on his 70th birthday, 70th birthday, he was touring Europe as a member of Steely Dan. So we talked about this from a creative standpoint. What does the audience get out of this? I'm amazed at how, how much the audience gets it and how they respond to great playing and the good writing. Some, sometimes when you ask the audience who's never been to a jazz concert before and a lot of people raise their hands and then they're completely blown away by what's going on, it really speaks to the accessibility of jazz in general. There's also an in-depth pre-concert discussion that takes mm -hmm. place uh, the same night. Yes, yeah, 7.15 before the concert. I'm going to talk to the audience. We've done this a few times already, and a lot of people come out. So I'm going to talk about creating the piece and uh, the residency I did at the McDowell Colony and how working, on, working in that kind of environment is great for a piece that's outdoor themed. And uh, Jason and Marvin and Jay are going to join me, and they're going to play the main themes from the movements that are written around them. So I could sort of program everybody to their, um, their voices. You can tell this is going to be a special night. April the 10th, it's at the Irvington Town Hall. It's Americana. It's the close of the seventh season of the Westchester Jazz Orchestra. And how do people find out about all this? At the website, which is westjazzorch.org. See artistic director Mike Oliver and the rest of this very talented band, the Westchester Jazz Orchestra, April the 10th at the Irvington Town Hall. See you there.